Good morning. Today is what? Thursday. Today's Thursday? Today is Thursday. Hmm. I'm gonna go brunching this morning. I am starving. I had, in French we call it mandarine, clémentine. I don't know what's the difference. Don't ask me. We're getting ready. I don't know what to wear. It is zero degrees, 32 Fahrenheit, 34. I don't know. So, it's gloomy, massively gloomy. I don't know what we're doing. Are we doing denim jeans? Are we doing black jeans? Are we doing leggings? It's like a cute place, to be honest. Okay, I was thinking about wearing my tits sweater. It's like for breast cancer awareness, FYI. But like Evie's sitting on it. What are we doing? Freezing tits today. You have no idea how freezing it is. Good morning, you guys. These days, I feel like, like I sleep so early. I wake up so early and I just never... I don't get the beauty sleep. I'm gonna walk Evie. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna start breakfast. So, yeah. Can't believe this is the 30th. Oh my god, I feel like the year went by so fast. I can't believe that this is the last vlog of the year. Yeah, I'm gonna make tea, I'm gonna make breakfast. Whenever it's gloomy and stuff, you're gonna want something in your stomach. I'm gonna go for oats. to just chill and not having to do so many things. I went shopping this week. I know. I don't know if it's like in my family. My mom, <laughs> she believes that you have to start the first day of the year was something new because it symbolizes change, new things coming to you. It could be something as simple as a pair of socks. It could be a nice dress, it could be shoes. I had no clue what I was gonna get the first day of the year. And yesterday we went to a store and I found a protection necklace. Not saying that the universe will need to find it, but kind of saying that. So I got myself that and a bunch of other things. <laughs> I'm like a kid, gift giving, gift receiving, number one love language. So yeah, I can't believe this is the last vlog of the year. If I have to reflect on the year, I feel like massively grateful. I traveled, spent time with my friends, I went to Bali. This year was the year of Bali. Oh my god. I'm grateful for 2023. Life is scary sometimes and believe me, I know. <laughs> I know. But sometimes, just sometimes, life turns out better than expected, you know? So I think there's hope. Let me finish breakfast because it's gonna take forever and if I keep on talking, I'm never gonna finish. Okay, I'll be back. Something massively ironic, I took Evie out. The minute we got back inside, she just rushed back to my bed. Just to say no, I'm not... I don't want to be awake right now. the shower so I'm gonna show you today's fit so I have this very chunky handmade cardigan little top 
and then sweatpants. The cardigan is massively long. I've always liked like chunky things. This one just, it just delivers to be honest. I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the store because I think you're gonna love it. The first thing that I wanted to show you is something that I received yesterday. It's a late Christmas gift from family members. It's like these little EXO vases. So you can put flowers in it. This goes on my coffee table. Next thing I got, microfiber towels from Oak and Reed. You know I love those colors, like the pastel-y colors. So I got this to go to the gym. I went back to the gym for the first time in years. This week, it was this week. I got a top because I love those little like crop tops type of situation. And this one is from Aura. For the girlies, you don't have to wear a bra. So this is my favorite thing in the entire world. And next I got, it looks like this basically it's like a 111 protection angel number angel numbers are repeating number sequences that have spiritual significance and are thought to be messages from the divine i am so excited because it looks so freaking good and the very last thing that i got you're not ready i swear you're not ready and this it's actually a ceramic takeout bowl i mean my sister found it in the store and she was like that's the only one you need to get it got it also i just want to say because this is the last vlog of the year. I say that all the time, but I swear it's true. Let people and let life surprise you. A lot of people are super excited about the end of the year. A lot of people are excited about the parties and the fact that we get to restart a new year. But I think for some people, it's also very difficult. It's difficult because they've been struggling, because they've been hiding their feelings, because they've been trying so hard to be okay, to look okay for people around them. I get that, and I see you. I hear you. I swear it's gonna be okay. And it's not just a comforting sentence. It's not me trying to say, oh, you're gonna be okay and dismiss whatever you're feeling. I'm not. I really am not. I just want, I just want you to know that. I'm just trying to, to tell you to hold on, to keep on believing and to keep on trusting uncertainties. Even when you think about the word uncertainty, it kind of, it kind of sounds negative, right? What if we change it? What if we change the way we see life. What if uncertainty actually means surprises? What if it means unexpected? So if you've been struggling, if you've been hurt, if you've been crying, if you've been holding back your tears for too long because the holidays was a difficult time for you, I see you. That doesn't mean that because this year was shit, it's gonna be the same next year. I just wanna send a bunch of love to anyone who's struggling with anything, mental, physical, emotional. You got this. 2024 is gonna be a great year for you. 2024 is going to be full of surprises, good surprises. Life is scary. Life is also beautiful. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> that was the emotional minute. And uh, happy new year.